What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm unboxing the brand new and very colorful Apple iMac. And I know what you're thinking, I've already seen a million different Apple iMac unboxings and reviews, but you know what? I bet you haven't seen someone unbox the cheapest one, because I'm cheap and I bought the cheapest one. But in all seriousness, Apple did seed out a bunch of different iMacs and iPads to a bunch of different tech reviewers so they could drop reviews early. And they also, of course, gave them nicer ones, not like the uh, the basic one. But I figured I would buy the basic one. One, because I'm supporting this tech channel off of my sneaker channel. And so this is sort of like the passion project channel and I didn't want to spend extra money I didn't need to spend. And two, because I did actually want to see how the cheapest version differed from the more expensive version. So this Apple iMac is the brand new 2021 Apple iMac. You can see on the side of the box that it's incredibly thin. I've also got to say that this box is beautifully designed. I love Apple packaging design. It comes in this all sort of like white semi-gloss cardboard. You've got this beautiful high-res image of the Mac on the front of the box. Of course, like I showed you before, you've got a picture of the side of the iMac on the side and then the back of the iMac on the back, which is how we started off the video. I'm super excited to check this out. It is the brand new, very colorful iMac. I had one of the, uh, the classic colorful iMacs back in like 1999 when I was growing up, so I have some nostalgia towards these colorful iMacs. I think the color that I had was like the dark green one. I don't know what the name was, but uh, I didn't want to pick that one up in the new iMacs. I just don't like the green as much. I really like blue. I went with blue, and uh, this is the one that I'm stoked about using. But like I said, I did pick up the base version or the cheapest version of this iMac. I believe it cost me $12.99. So why don't we pop it open and see what $12.99 can get you when it comes to brand new M1 iMacs. Also, if you guys haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and also subscribe to my main sneaker channel if you're interested in sneakers at all. I don't know if you are, you're probably here from the sneaker channel, but if you're not, subscribe to both of them. It'd mean a lot. Okay, so the first thing that I think I need to do is actually peel the pull tab. I don't know where it is. Oh, I see. It's on the top of the box. Okay, actually, speaking of which, the top of the box is really nicely designed as well. You've got this beautiful blue handle right here. It comes in like a blue nylon material and of course matches the color of the computer. You've got iMac, I think, written on this side. Not sure if I'm pointing to the right side. I wasn't. <laughs> And then you've got the pull tab on the top of the box. So let me pull this pull tab really quickly and let's pop this box open. Here we go. Very nice. It's funny, I've watched a bunch of the unboxings of this computer, but I still don't know exactly how to unbox it. There we go. Look at that. Whew. So pretty. Okay, so the first thing that you'll see inside the box is this really cool, almost like origami setup. So the way that you open the box is just by pulling on the sides and it kind of all pops out. Now I can't actually pull on it all at once because I'm, well, I guess I could do this. Which sucks, because I really want to see it happening. I've only ever seen it in videos, I've never seen it in real life. Oh, it's so cool, okay. So when you pull on the sides, it all kind of opens up, which is really awesome, and then you can pull out the computer itself. Oh man, this is exciting. I, I actually really like the design of this computer. I'm not a huge fan of uh, some details, which we'll get to later, but wow. Gotta have that obligatory, wow, this is super thin. But in all seriousness, it is ridiculously thin. Look at that, crazy thin. That's so crazy. Okay, so underneath the iMac, you've actually got your accessories right down here. This is a really awkward unboxing. I should have stood up for this, but too late now. You pull this open like this, lift up the flap, and then underneath the flap, you've got your accessories right there. So because this is the cheaper version of the iMac, I don't believe we get all the accessories, or if we do, it's like the cheaper version. So for example, you've got this beautiful blue Bluetooth keyboard, but the thing about this Bluetooth keyboard is that it doesn't have a Touch ID sensor, which the um, more expensive version has, which would be nice. I have a Touch ID sensor on my um, MacBook Pro, which I use every single day. So I, I kind of miss that, but it is what it is. Very, very light, love that. I love the blue color too. You've got the blue USB-C to uh, lightning cable right here and threaded light blue, that's so sick. Um, you've also got, let's see, is this the mouse? Here we go. You've got the Apple mouse, which of course comes in blue. Still charges on the bottom, which is really dumb. I don't know why they still do that, but very, very nice Apple mouse in blue. And then you've got your uh, power cables right here. So you've got the braided, MagSafe cable. I don't think it's called MagSafe anymore, but it's magnetic, so I'm gonna call it MagSafe. Pull this out. Man, I'm just making a mess of this. It smells... It smells like a, uh, like a mango. I don't know why this stuff smells so good. It doesn't smell like new tech, it smells like fruit. Which is like really ironic because it's an Apple product. Now, another thing that the cheaper iMac doesn't have is the uh, Ethernet port on the uh, the power brick right here, which the more expensive Macs do. There's no um, Ethernet port on the back of this computer. You're gonna have to use a dongle. Um, but with the other more expensive iMacs, they have it on the power brick. But of course, this one doesn't. 
And then you've also got the wall plug, which we'll use to plug it into the uh, wall. And then what else do we have? I'm just making a huge mess of this. It's probably all out of focus. I don't know what I'm doing. I need like a double camera setup. Okay, let me put this box down on the ground. This is a little ridiculous. Oh, one other notable thing is that in the instructions, you actually get two different colored Apple stickers, which, oh no, did I not get them? I did. I thought that was one of the omissions because it was a cheaper iMac. <laughs> but no, they gave it to us. Okay, so you've got two different colored Apple stickers. You've got the lighter one for the front of the computer and the darker one for the back of the computer. Um, I might actually, <laughs> if I keep this computer, I might actually throw one of them on the front because I hate the fact that there's no Apple logo on the front, but it is what it is. So, here it is, the computer itself. Why don't we pull off the cover for this and see how it looks. So this computer did actually ship today, or at least become available today for a pickup in store. This is, um, I believe, the 21st of May. Look at this, whoo, look at that. That is a sexy computer, oh my goodness, okay. Whoo, wow. Okay, I realize now all you guys could see was the hello, but on the back, look at that. Look how sick that is. Also, because the, uh, the rubber pads on the bottom are very slick, this spins very, very easily, which I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, it'll be great if you're trying to show other people what's going on on the screen, but that's probably about it. I've heard that the magnetic power cable is actually really hard to unplug, so if someone were to trip over the cable, unlike the old MagSafe cables, it would probably not pull out. It would probably just pull the whole computer off the table because it's so light, which is a little disappointing, but it is what it is. Ooh, look at that, ooh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is a beautiful color. Look at that. Man, that is sexy. I love that. I love that so much. Okay. Whew! That color is sick. I'm so glad I went with the blue one. So glad. Okay, so let's pull off the, uh, the hello on the front. Wow. Also, you know what? I didn't love the white bezels at first, but seeing it in person, I'm still not sold. I'm still not sold. I, 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 I don't get them. I really don't like them that much. <laughs> Whew, look at that. Man, this is a sexy computer. I can't even believe it. Look how thin that is. That's insane. <laughs> That's so insane. I hope the, uh, the new MacBook Pros come in a similar like angular design because I really like this, uh, this flat edge. A lot. Okay, so before we actually power on this brand new iMac, let me tell you guys a couple things about the uh, the less expensive version or the uh, base model version that are excluded. Um, first of all, you've got only two USB-C ports or two Thunderbolt ports instead of four on the standard version. Now, the four on the back of the standard version, I think only two of them are Thunderbolt and then there's four USB-C. On this one, you just got the two Thunderbolt USB-Cs. That's it. That's actually really the only USB ports on the entire computer, which is a little disappointing, if I'm honest. And then you've also got your uh, headphone jack right there on the left side. But that's pretty much it, other than the uh, the power in the back. <laughs> so this is a pretty uh, portless computer, but you know what? To be fair, I don't think this iMac is for people who are gonna be using a lot of dongles or accessories. I think this is more of like a, a school computer or a, a living room computer or something that you're not doing like any heavy processing on or heavy work on. Now to be fair, because this computer now features the M1 chip, it's incredibly powerful. It's significantly faster than the older base level iMacs and it also is significantly thinner because the new Apple Silicon actually, you know, handles a bunch of different things and it's able to reduce the size of the computer. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, there's still a pretty large chin on this computer and that um, that's disappointing. I would have liked it if it was just kind of the white border like that, but you know what? I don't know if that's ever gonna go away, um, at least for now. It seems as though uh, we're gonna have this for a while because usually Apple doesn't revise the iMac um, for a couple years at a time. So we're probably gonna be stuck with this on the standard iMacs. The iMac Pro, if that ever comes back, may get rid of it, who knows? But uh, for right now, we're kind of stuck with it. But I will say the finishes of this computer are incredible. So the front of the computer is covered in one pane of glass. It goes all the way down. There's no separation between the uh, the white bezel and the, the light blue right there or the screen. Obviously, as you can see, this bezel around the screen comes in bright white, which some people don't like because, you know, it makes it harder to color grade and things like that. But at the same time, this is a playful computer. This is the kind of computer you sit in your living room, like I said, or in your kitchen, and it's supposed to blend into the environment and not really be something that you're like chugging away 
you know, on your video editing. So I, I don't think it really matters too much. I do prefer the blue on the back. I think this blue is much prettier. This sort of deep blue anodized aluminum, I'm assuming is what it is, is gorgeous. And I love this giant Apple logo that comes in glass as well. You've got this lighter blue on the stand. All the dark blue panels on this computer are gorgeous and I'm obsessed with them. I think the color on this computer is nuts. And I think for me personally, the two things that I love about these new iMacs are the backs and the sides. The front, um, I could kind of do without, but that's just me personally. So uh, <laughs> that's sort of my, uh, my quick take on the industrial design of this iMac as an industrial designer who's only ever designed sneakers, dog toys, and kitchenware, and not someone who's ever designed consumer electronics. So there you go. Take that for what it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I will say it is a nice looking computer. They did a great job and it's probably one of the best looking desktop computers you could buy. And uh, you can get it in a bunch of different gray colors, which is awesome. But at this point, I think it's time to hit that nice little power button right down there, plug this computer in, turn it on and see how it looks. So um, let's get all the, uh, the cables and the dongles all figured out and uh, jump into it. Let me see how strong this magnet is because I keep hearing things about this magnet being ridiculously strong. It is really strong. If someone trips over this cable, this computer's coming with it, especially when it slides this easily. <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous. Why did they even make it magnetic? Also, actually, the design of this power cable is gorgeous. I love it. I mean, it really is a beautiful design. So let's plug it in. It matches the computer too, which is pretty cool. There we go. So it's plugged in. We've got our mouse. We've got our keyboard. I don't know if they're synced up yet, but there you go. That's what it looks like when it's all uh, set up. I will say that the keyboard design is gorgeous. Very similar to the current keyboards, except, you know, in color. You can get a version with the full number pad right there on the side. I obviously didn't. I also got the one without a uh, Touch ID button, but it is what it is. Of course, the mouse is exactly the same, except in colors. Again, is what it is. The more expensive versions of this computer also come with the uh, touchpad. This one didn't. Obviously, it's the baseline one, so it's not going to have that, but I kind of prefer the mouse. So uh, let's turn this guy on, see what happens. Ooh. So one thing that Apple touts on this computer are these six speakers um, that I believe are downward firing, but uh, apparently they're great. <laughs> okay, so a couple notable things about the brand new iMac, the first of which is the brand new screen, which is now larger and comes in at 24 inches. Not only that, it's now 4.5K and it's a retina display, which means it's super high resolution and I honestly can't see any pixels. So as for some more differences between the base version of the computer, which again is priced at $12.99 versus the next step up, which is priced at $14.99. The base configuration only comes with 256 gigabytes of internal storage, which is not a huge amount. And if you care about the colors, it only comes in four different color options versus the whole colored gambit. Um, thank God they have blue, because again, that's my favorite. According to Apple, this base version has an eight core CPU, just like the more expensive versions. However, it only has a seven core GPU, unlike the more expensive versions, which have eight core GPUs. The base version of the computer only comes with eight gigabytes of unified memory, which to be fair is the same as the other versions. However, with the other versions, you can configure the memory size. So you can go up to 16 gigabytes. And same thing with the actual internal storage. You can go up to, I think like two terabytes. So all of that paired with the keyboard without Touch ID, the no trackpad, and the uh, the missing two USB-C ports in the back. That's what $12.99 gets you versus $14.99. But to be honest with you, if you're just trying to get into the Apple ecosystem, if you're just trying to get an M1 Mac, which this is, it's gonna be very fast regardless. Maybe not as fast as some of the more high-end versions of this computer, but still pretty fast. It's worth it. I think if you're willing to spend the extra 200 bucks, that might be the way to go. If you're not, you should be fine with the $12.99 base model of the computer. Now, unfortunately, I do not think this computer uh, can be upgraded like most Macs. There's no, um, well, there's nowhere to put in more RAM like there was in some of the older iMacs, but it is what it is. And again, if you're buying this iMac, you're probably not worried about putting in any more RAM. But uh, I've got to say, from a design point of view, I love it. I think it's a gorgeous looking computer. While I don't love the omission of the Apple logo on the front and the white bezels, I still think it's a gorgeous computer. Also don't love the chin too, I forgot to mention that. I think the, uh, the back of the computer is by far the best part. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's anodized aluminum, if that is what it is, which I think that it is what it is. Um, it's gorgeous. And I think the, uh, the size of this computer is absolutely insane. I think the thinness is just next level. So huge shout out to Apple's industrial design team for killing it once again. 
But with that, we pretty much wrap up the unboxing for today. I would love to know your thoughts about the brand new M1 iMac that comes in a bunch of different colors. So make sure to let me know which color and which configuration of the brand new iMac you would go for if you decided to pick one up. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see me do a full review of this computer, maybe a review of the base version, whether the base version is the one that you should pick up or whether you should pick up the higher end version. Let me know in the comment section. I'm open to anything. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you all in the next one. I've got the plastic from the computer stuck in my foot. <laughs>